Okay, another review. It's uh, another BB gun I have. Actually, this is just a BB gun. Doesn't take anything but BBs. DZ Powerline Model 15 XT. It's um, based off of the very popular M1911 model. It's an uh, old 45. Maybe it was a 9 mm I'm pretty sure it was a 45. Back in uh, World War II. Very, very popular gun back then. Of course, this wasn't, but it's a 177 caliber. It's very well built. It's all hard plastic. To load in the CO2 because it's a CO2 gun, you just pop off the front, put the CO2 in there, which I will do later. I will, because I noticed that a lot of these people who make reviews do not put in the CO2. It's got the safety right in front of the trigger, that right behind it. Pull that, shoot. That's not how loud it is. It gets loud when I put the CO2. The little place where you load in the BBs is right up there. Right along there. You pull this spring back. Put the BBs in up there. Let go of the spring. Holds the BBs in. And you got 15 rounds. It repeats itself. It's falling asleep. It's a repeater. No, it's not blowback like some of those guns. So none of this moves at all. Hopefully it shouldn't move. Hammer is fake and everything. It's got a um, metal trigger, but it's it's a metal trigger, but all the metal is got plastic around it. Okay, uh, here is my, I ordered 15 separate CO2s and they came in this. Oh, you guys are going to like this. This is my bank, basically. There's a CO2. There's some money. Alright. Anyway, to load it, you take off that, unscrew this little screw down there, just unscrew that until you can fit the CO2 in. Let me reach down there and grab another CO2. Oops, that came up instead of CO2. That little CO2 bag is basically my bank. Put the CO2 in there. Let me just screw this back up. Oops, gotta make sure that your CO2 is gonna shoot. I haven't used this gun in forever because I don't like using. Oh, I'm screwing it the wrong way. That's why. Because I don't like using CO2 because it costs so much money. Then it'll start to be a little harder to twist it, and that's because it's getting to the top. Right as it starts to get hard, there's a nice quick twist. Because then it shoves it in there. If you could hear that, it actually just penetrated it, and it went. That was a little bit of the air leaking out. You put back on the handle. I've had trouble with the handle. Sometimes it won't go on. Like now. There we go. I use Daisy zinc plated BBs. I don't really care. It's 177. Any BBs would work. Same way to shoot it. It's loaded. Real loud. Um, that's basically it. It's got um, 400... 80, I think, 480 feet per second with BBs. Of course, that's all it takes. Um, you only get a couple shots at 480 feet per second, and that's not really enough to do anything. You, you probably couldn't hunt, or no, not hunt, you wouldn't hunt one of these. You probably can't even do like pest control. It might be good for rats, but other than that, it's not really, not really good for anything other than that. It's got back sight. Front sight, none of it's adjustable. It's all fake because it was only like sixty dollars, so it was all fake. I got a little kit that came with it. It came with three CO two shooting glasses and BBs. Got that at like I saw it at Kmart, but I bought it online. I don't know why, but I did see it at Kmart. But it's only like sixty dollars, so you can just borrow some of mine. No, I'm just kidding. You can't have any of my money. So, you don't believe all that money was mine? I actually have a job. Let's count it off. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, oh, that's a lot. 
And now I'm bragging. 210, 220, 230, 240, 245, 250, 255, 260, 265, 270, 275, 280, 285. I still got ones to count. I don't even need ones. 286, 287, 288, 289, 290, 291, 292, 293, 294. Ah, oh, just missed the 300 mark. Ah, oh, poor me.